I am hiding something. I have no opinion, my dude. I really don't know. When it comes to abortion. God damn it! Really? If you're just joining, this has been like an hour and a half of this stuff. It just does not hold up. God. I am sorry if you disagree with my... Yes, we have learned a lot about me. Yes. Yes, I should just call this tender loving care. The style... The story of pretzel. So, you know what? I'm going to be honest. I'm pro... No, I didn't mean to choose pro-life. Shit. I'm not... I respect a woman's right to choose. Shit. I chose the wrong one. God. You got me rattled now. It was fine when it was just one person watching me. Then I could confide in them. It was like a, you know, it was like soldiers in a foxhole. Like we understood each other. We kept our secrets. This is technically a game. You can buy this on Steam right now and GOG. I got it on sale on GOG for like two bucks. Came out in 1998. Catherine's methods definitely seem unorthodox. I don't know. She's the, f she's the fucking nurse. How do you feel in the company of highly intelligent people? Timula intimidated, stimulated, superior, humiliated, comfortable. Stimulated, I guess. Do you think that Allison has ever been unfaithful? Allison? No, she's catatonic. What emotion does Allison feel most strongly toward Michael? Uh, according to her diary, revulsion. Great, now we get to wander the house. This is the game, though, Prompt Commander. It is, if you look up reviews and stuff, they talk about it pretty much being an interactive movie. Post-traumatic stress disorder, depression, and learned helplessness rehabilitation strategies. Uh, I'm not reading all this. I'm sorry. I'm sure it's good world building. Oh. Oh. Thank you. They asked me if I thought Jesus existed earlier. And if I have bowel problems. And if masturbation is better than sex. I'm just happy that there's only two rooms to look in. I don't know about you, but I think this situation isn't good. Not good at all. I didn't ask for your opinion. Could even be dangerous. Mrs. Overton really doesn't need her husband undermining her therapy. That I agree woman. with that, 100%. Not that I think Mrs. Randolph I thoughts about is those Florence earrings. Nightingale of psychiatric care. But she is a professional psychotherapist. And Dr. Turner is certainly enthusiastic. Perhaps a little too enthusiastic. This is available on well, iOS and Android as well. And it's wasting away. Keep an eye on him for me, will you? And maybe you should watch out for our nurse-turned-therapist. She's a bit too clever for her own good, if you ask me. I didn't. Let's look at some files. Let's break the Hippocratic Oath, everyone. Yeah, let's let's do a hit. Let's make a HIPAA violation happen. Case notes. Justin it was Justin Carter. Tractor 26 year old married parent of a five year. Is that the dude? Is that the guy's names? I, is the guy's name? I don't know. Carter with her. No, it's not, because this is someone else. Brandon Car I don't know who. I'm just reading some random person's. Mrs. Carter's distress appears to be situational induced by an obsessive concern with her husband's health and safety. Okay. Why am I reading this? I, I don't really feel like I should be. What's in the files? Psychiatric quarterly. Okay. God, Munchausen. Yes, it's a Munchausen by proxy includes the. Yeah, I know. What's the name of that show that's really uh, good? My wife watched it recently. Uh, was Kathy Bates in it? It's a it's a show about Munchausen by proxy. 
If you watch that show, you know what Munchausen by proxy is. Okay, can I please? I gotta click this Matisse painting. When you painting. concluded this test, you will return to the story. God. Do you wish okay. to? Okay. Let's see what John Hurt has to ask me now. If you're just joining, you missed me listening to a sex line that I didn't dial, in which Nurse Noddington gave me a sponge bath. That was at the beginning of the video. Is chaos a good or a bad thing? Good, I guess? With rubber gloves, yes. So, you're right, I didn't properly tell the story. She was giving a sponge bath and noticed with a very comical, like, sproing sound, like that there was more to scrub. And so, <laughs> then she dropped her sponge, which I guess is not hygienic <laughs> anymore. And so she's like, I guess I got to do this by hand. So she puts on a rubber glove, which to be, as Magitek pointed out, sure. Maybe that's someone's idea of what, you know, they want to happen. Good. But like, that's how you finish off your nurse, naughty nurse thing. Like is, let me put on this latex glove. She didn't ask if I have a latex allergy. Good. Often I laugh out loud for no good reason and then feel like a fool. That is very true. If I was stuck behind the lines in enemy territory, I would most want to have... Um... God, a cyanide capsule? Holy shit. Um... Oh God, I wish we were playing a behind enemy lines game instead. Um... I guess a gun? The story of Adam and Eve is completely made up. I'm a, I'm just going to avoid controversy. I have never been afraid of clowns. Have I ever been afraid of clowns? I don't know, actually. That's a good question, John Hurt. Um, excuse me, Sir John Hurt. Uh, I don't think I have been. When I look at this, I see... Uh, I don't see any of these things. None of the above. If death came knocking at my door... I would. Uh, I would probably scream like a bitch. The artist who painted this. Uh, unique vision. Looking at art makes me depressed because I am so untalented. Holy shit, really? Okay, we're getting really... <laughs> I mean, yes, but... <laughs> so excited what's going on it's jody well, what about jody she's sitting up she's sitting up in bed really yes Catherine got her to do it she's so we not were just real talking about how she needed to try harder and Catherine said she should be sitting up in bed and she went right upstairs and got her to do it just like that isn't it wonderful yeah yeah that's wonderful and that's not all you gotta do it you just gotta do it do what she wants her own television for her room her, she wants her own television. Catherine wants her own television set. Yes. D no, no, Jody, Jody wants her own television. She's sitting up now and she wants her own television set. Oh. Well, Michael, I would think that you'd be more excited and happy about this. I am. It's just, it's such a surprise. I'm Isn't out of wine. Though? It's because of Catherine. That woman can work miracles. Your hair looks great. What'd you do to it? Well, Catherine did it. You will do it, won't you, Michael? Her hair you looks will the get same. Her own television set? That's what she wants. She does. First, I gotta get the groceries in the house. Let me help. No, that's okay, I got it. I'm not helpless, you know. I know. She absolutely was helpless. Tender loving care, everyone. Where's Catherine now? She's upstairs doing her meditation. She does it faithfully for one hour every day. While she's doing it, she can't be disturbed. Was that right? Michael, whatever she's doing, it takes a great deal of concentration. She's going to teach me how to do it. Oh, won't that be swell? What's this guy's problem? He's jealous of the nurse stuff. and his wife? Organic vegetables, we got health cereals, carrot cake, 
with no, underlined, no artificial ingredients. And this stuff is expensive. If you ask me, it doesn't make a damn bit of difference. Soy milk, for Christ's sake. That's why you're not a fucking doctor. Michael. It just pisses me off that I have to go out and get all this stuff. You're that petulant? Nothing is too great a sacrifice or an effort if it will help Jody. Now, barring the dead child, I agree right. with her. Like, why doesn't he... <laughs> why doesn't he just do it? to Jody's room and get her drawings and her notebooks and her report cards too. What do you need that stuff for? Well, Catherine wants them. She wants to know all about Jody so she can work with her better. Tell her to get it herself. Michael. Oh, Allison, come on. Catherine is anything but helpless. Well, she doesn't know where they are and you do. Would you please cooperate? Okay. Okay, I'll do it. What the hell, my dude? Thank you. Thank you very much. I am so, I am so confused right now. Neither of the reactions made sense. Really, you're not going to go stare at Catherine's window? See if she's topless? Maybe if I had chosen pro-choice like I intended. The aria again. They pay good money for this song. They'll have to get their money's worth. I know. It feels like he's going to murder one of them. I can't take his acting seriously. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's... That's so contrived. Oh, really? God. You're really gonna throw this on me right now? I am so sorry if this triggers anyone. His bad acting, I mean. It's awful. Welcome back. I've worked with patients in severe denial before, but never anyone who's suffered to the same extreme as Allison. And that's actually why I introduced Catherine into the process. Virtually her first case, once she became a licensed therapist, was with a young man in Portland who was undergoing similar trauma after the death of his mother. And Catherine's effect was remarkable. I was somewhat removed from the case and uh, don't really know how she did it. But I saw Danny in his uh, before and after conditions. And the results were astonishing. She's good. She's very good. Nice job, editor. Who was driving Sucks does the amazing things. Ran into the tree. Who drove the car? Well, I would have to think it's Allison if she has this much guilt, right? I am hostile toward people who lead alternative lifestyles. No. Sometimes I drive too fast. Yeah, too wait. Okay. Too fast, meaning relative to speed limit, or too fast in the sense that even I feel I'm driving too fast? Because everyone drives above speed limit, right? I disagree. I don't drive... No, I'll agree. 
Sometimes, when I'm drunk, I get angry and break things. No, I usually fall asleep. Jody can be best described as which of the following? Uh, a crutch, a casualty, a memory, a burden, a weapon? I would think of a memory or a casualty. Does anyone else have an opinion? Yeah, a weapon? I don't understand. Like, a weapon that Allison is supposed to be using against her husband? To, like, make him feel guilty? Like, that's what I would assume, but, like, she hasn't done that, really. Like, a weapon against herself? Like, to, because she feels so racked with guilt? I mean, that's the obvious one that I don't think is true. So it's one of these four, but I don't know which four. I'll take any answer on this one. I really don't know. I will take the first answer that pops up in chat. Uh, crutch. Got it. Is Catherine attracted to Michael? No, 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 no. She is not. Um, she's not. But do I want the story to get interesting? <laughs> is the question this will make the story not interesting this will make it interesting so let's make it interesting swearing offends me no do you believe michael has ever been unfaithful uh i don't think so great okay do we get to look at the erotic art book now let's look at our erotic art while we poop yeah. God, why did it have to zoom in? All right. This was the one that uh, in the previous chapter, if you didn't watch, you click this to trigger the next scene. Um, when you Oh, no. Let's go to... Catherine's room is always the most interesting in the sense that there's always something going on in here, like on the computer or on the tape recorder. Although, God, no, I don't want to know what's on the tape recorder, or not the tape recorder, the computer. The last time we looked at the computer, if you weren't here, it was a file. She used to work in like a, um, like a sexual dysphoria clinic. So she has these files from when she worked there. And one of them was about a woman that collected used condoms. And it was just, I don't even promiscuous girl a teenage girl nope you lost me at teenage girl <laughs> sorry i am so sorry if you really want to read it freeze and read it <laughs> or download it on ios and android something very interesting happened today we were making dinner and allison cut her finger while chopping vegetables it was a bad cut but she just quietly stared with fascination at the blood dripping out of the wound. I overcame my urge to bind the finger because I knew something important was happening. I figured she was having a flashback to the accident. I wonder what somebody would have said if they had just seen me watching her bleed like that, but I couldn't interrupt it though. I had to see where it would lead. After about a minute, it seemed a lot longer. She started to tremble uncontrollably. And that's when I stepped in and washed and bound the wound. Should Allison have been a minute didn't earlier. A word for a couple of hours. She sat at the kitchen table, staring into space. I'm sorry, this does not sound like mild mic sensitivity. Me of when we went bike riding that one time and you flew over the handlebars and landed on your palms in the gravel and you just sat there, plucking the stones from your bloody hands with the serene, wrapped expression on your face. You told me that you love things like that because, because they made you feel so alive. God. It's turning into I Crash. I thinking about life. Another Cronenberg movie. We still don't know who she's talking to in the recorder, do we? I think... I don't know, actually, now that you mention it. She's not married anymore. So... It's not her husband. Her cat, Tigger, maybe? 
I don't know. Oh God, what's in here now? This book changes every time. Oh no, it's back to tant tantric sex. Okay. No, I really don't want to. Perform no, I really don't want to know how to perform the Yoni massage. Where Let's just can, yes, we're just what gonna, does the stick figure most remind you of? Lovecraftian horror? Um I guess a Chinese character, maybe? When I was a child, I was afraid of Oh, this is a good question. Uh imaginary monsters. A postman, really? You'd be afraid of your own dad? Um, my parents, dogs, the devil, snakes. I was raised Catholic, so I'm going to go devil. Adults should act more like kids. Absolutely not. What makes this a happy painting? Uh, the kitty. Where's the kitty? Oh, there's no kitty option? Uh, smiling faces. Long car trips are... Uh... I think they're fun. I have fun on my car trips. Do you guys have fun on your car trips? Usually when my wife go on car trips, we usually pick out the most annoying songs. Or we play a game that like, uh, it's like, it's a game where you try to make a sentence in five words or less that makes the other person mad. Parents should praise their children. Uh, only when they do something special? No, that's not true. That's not true. Dad. Uh, not too much as to spoil them all the time. I guess this is... That sounds like a good game. I'm writing that down for my next long car trip. It's pretty fun. Like, especially if you are on either similar or kind of even offset in like political or... Especially if you don't take it too seriously. You can both have a lot of fun. That's really interesting. Uh, not too much. See, like, these don't really... This game has a problem with anything other than the extremes. I would not... Their, their surveys would be very biased. Only when they do something special. That, I don't believe. Not too much. So as not to spoil them, then I don't believe that either. Where's the... In between? I guess this. The best game to play at a birthday party is... Pass the orange? What the hell is that? Can someone explain past the orange to me? Is that like a thing where like it's under your chin between your chest? I think that's what that is. Um, Pinatas are always fun. I love pinatas. Who the hell is playing croquet at their birthday party? This isn't Heather's. Uh, if you haven't seen Heather's, see Heather's. Um. I think you're right past the orange between people without using hands. Okay. And that's a lame game. I don't like that. Pin the tail on a donkey. No. Uh, not, this didn't happen at any of my birthday parties. So we're going to go with pinata. When I was a child, I was afraid of the dark. Uh, I guess so. I think everyone a was. A child who makes a mess should be. Um, where's like reasoned with? Where is, I guess, why does he have a gun? Uh, made to clean up the mess. Yeah, where's that? I guess that's given a lecture. Children who explore their bodies are curious. Mother, why doesn't John Hurt? eventually oh. have to let go of their children. I almost, ber I am so sorry, Sir John Hurt. I almost berated you for not reading this one out. Mothers eventually have to let go of their children. True. 